Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider pre build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27749. And in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this latest build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, there are a few changes related to the narrator. First of all, Microsoft have added a new shortcut, narrator key plus control plus X. To copy what narrator last spoke to clipboard and it also follows a pattern of using narrator key plus x which repeats the last spoken phrase out loud it is a good way to memorize similar shortcuts you can use these shortcuts to review and copy what narrator spoke useful in cases you want to quickly copy some content or descriptions or codes numbers for use and also narrator will now auto read contents of a mail in the new outlook app similar to behavior in outlook classic microsoft is also offering isos for this build so you can check that out on their official microsoft blog post and also as discovered by Seno Panther on Twitter, this new build introduces a new tip if your battery gets low several times in a week, which says your device appears to have gotten low on battery several times this week. Turning Energy Saver on will extend battery life. These are pretty much all the news and changes in this build, but we have a lot of fixes in this build. First of all, talking about fixes, we have some fixes related to the file explorer. Next, I'll fix an issue which was causing the items in the navigation pane to become very spread out with an unexpected padding between each item for some people. And they also fixed an underlying issue which was causing raw images taken in portrait mode to unexpectedly display in landscape mode thumbnails. Related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft made a change so you'll now see a search box if the taskbar auto hides when the setting for search on the taskbar is set to search box rather than an icon. Related to input, Microsoft updated the mouse option, show location of pointer when I press the control key so that the circles displayed are now DPI aware and are really small on high DPI monitors. So of course that option can be found in the old mouse properties which which is around here and you can enable it if you want to see where the mouse is when you press the control key. We also have a few fixes for narrator. For example, Microsoft have addressed a performance issue where narrator could slow down after 15 minutes with a continuous use with a single application. Fix an issue where narrator would add an additional announcement contain style whenever its focus is set on a text that had style and attributes. They also fix an issue where a few dialogues and narrator were not adopting the 200% text scaling setting in Windows. Related to task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue causing task manager to show a zero count for apps and processes. Related to audio, fix an underlying issue that could lead to the audio on certain audio devices unexpectedly going to 100% on boot or after sleep. And they also fixed a blank entry in settings and privacy, which was crashing settings if you clicked it. We also have some other fixes, for example, mitigated an issue resulting in Git not working for insiders with ARM PCs in the previous flight. Fix an issue causing some insiders to see a bug check with kernel mode heap corruption in the previous flight. Fix an underlying issue which could potentially to not being able to join a domain and they also fix an issue where direct access wasn't working and might stay stuck in a connecting state. We also have two new known issues in this build. Microsoft is working on the fix for an underlying issue causing some apps used for remoting into other PCs to crash in the latest Canary builds and this build has an issue with applying policy for Digital Markets Act in the European Economic Area regions. So basically this is all there is to it to the latest Canary build. If you want to learn more info about this you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoy this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Those are Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.